let me try to record recording has started oh you're recording huh? all right it's fine um, a teacher yes teacher? yeah you can wait yes. uh one minute uh, i rest in all right that's fine that's fine it's okay How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm uh, a little. Uh, today I have some uh, like to angry with my uh, my boy because he. Uh, Why is that? <laughs> uh, tomorrow he. What did you uh, do? I I I uh, I. Uh, Pick him with a stick, with a uh, three uh, three time three teeth in his uh, ass. Yeah, because he's so uh, lazy for eating, he don't want to eat. <laughs> All right, I get you. I get you. Well, uh, those are kids. Kids are like that sometimes. <laughs> he's already uh, three years old. But uh, <laughs> he uh, never eating, and when he eating, he um, have to watch him film, and every time when he eating, it has about I think uh, at least uh, thirty minutes or one hour for one um, one time, and um, I talk with my, I talk <laughs> with my wife. That's a lot of time. Yeah, I talk with There's my. There's a lot of time. There's a lot of time. My wife, my wife, uh, also a teacher, and uh, she mm -hmm. say, uh, he will uh, okay, in uh, in school, and I say with her, you are also a teacher, and he um our son, and we need to teach him at at home, school is just a a short time. And at home for a long time, and he would or best spend on uh, at home, not in school. Mm -hmm. And you cannot uh, give responsibility for other people and give for the teacher because you you are also a teacher. And if mm -hmm. uh, your your if your student and their parents uh, told you. You have to responsible, uh, responsible, uh, responsible for their 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 children. What do what do what did you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? And I and my wife have an argument because my son <laughs> so funny. <laughs> no, but I think with time he will start uh, eating on his own, and he will start because I think it's the age when it gets to four five years. Especially considering that he's a boy, I'm sure that if he he starts doing a lot of activity, he will naturally get hungry and he'll want to eat more. So just give yeah. him a bit of time. So in like a year or two, he'll be eating a lot. Okay, sir. Now it's room for you and my uh, nephew. I will leave. Okay. All right. All right. It's fine. Um, let us start. Okay, let me just share my my screen. Okay. All right. Um, click here to share screen. Ah, uh, teacher. All right. Can you see my screen? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, teacher and uncle, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, we were talking about uh, your cousin. Um, your uncle was telling me that he's refusing to eat. He takes a long time to eat. So he was telling me that um, um, he is angry with him because he's taking too long. At times, he refuses to eat as well. 
so he's just he's just uh troubled by the fact that he's having problems with them with regards to eating does that make sense okay. yes so i was just telling him that it's only because it's still three and when he gets to four five six years he'll be doing a lot more activity and then he'll start eating more so i was telling him not to worry does that make sense Do you understand that? Yeah. All right, so can you see my screen? Yes, I, I see. All right, so we are just going to be doing um, the same as yesterday. I tried to find some exercises that are a bit easier. So I hope um, this will be a bit easy. Is that okay? Okay, okay. So it, all right, so I'm going to tell me if you can hear every. I'm going to raise my volume so that you can hear properly. Okay. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. So you go with a group? Uh-huh. Now, now, what kinds of things do you take to school? I take my Thai food group that is gym clothes, and I take my backpack and my boot. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. Okay, and what is the first thing you do when you get to school? We do kidits. There. Kidits and there. Now, what are those? It means stand up, okay. bow. Stand up and bow. Uh -huh. Okay. And what do you study at school? We study Gokugo, that is writing and reading and stuff like that. Okay. And Sabju does math. Okay. And we do gym too. Okay. And where do you eat lunch? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No. We Eat in our classroom. You eat in your classroom? Yes. Oh, wow, that is very interesting. Now, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at 3 and sometimes at 2. Okay, well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. Did you understand? Did you hear everything? Or should we start again? Easy, it's easy. So you understood everything? Yes, then. All right, all right, that's fine. Okay, so let's try to answer the questions. All right, so number one, how does Joshua go to school in Japan? Uh, he works with a group of students. Well done. Which item did Joshua not take to school? Uh, um, school hat. Gym clothes. A school hat. Well done. All right. What does George do first when he gets to school? Ah, uh, he stand and both teacher. Well done. Where does Joshua eat lunch? At school. In his in his classroom. Well done. Joshua probably gets home school between 2 and 3 p.m. Well done. That's all correct. You can see all the answers are correct. Well done. Well done. Let's do more. Let's try to find something that's um, a bit more complicated. Okay. Mm, daily schedule. Okay. All right, so I'm playing it now. So, what's your usual day like? You will always seem so busy. Well, I usually get up around 5 a.m. and work on the computer until 6. Why do you get up so early? Well, I have to leave home at 20 to 7 so I can catch a bus at 7 o'clock. 
It takes me about 20 minutes to walk to the bus stop from my house. And what time do you get to work? Uh, my bus takes about an hour to get there, but it stops right in front of my office. That's nice. And what time do you get off work? Uh, around 5 o'clock. Then we eat dinner around 6.30, and my wife and I read and play with the kids until 8 or so. So when do you work on your website? You said one time that you created at home. Well, my wife and I often watch TV or talk until 10 o'clock. She then often reads while I work on my site, and I sometimes stay up until the early hours in the morning, but I try to finish everything by 1 or 2. And then you get up at 5 a.m.? Well, yeah, but it's important to live a balanced life. I enjoy what I do, but you have to set aside time for family and yourself. I agree. But I think my wife has the toughest job. She spends her whole day taking care of the family, taking the kids to school, working in the garden, buying groceries, taking the kids to piano lessons. Wow. That's a full-time job, but she enjoys what she does. Well, it sounds like you're a busy but lucky man. I think so, too. Did you understand everything there? Or should I start it again? Do you understand? Did you get it? Or should I repeat it? Did it make sense? Yeah, okay. Hello? Yes, I understand. Do you understand? All right, so we can go to the questions. What time does the man get up? At uh, 7. Uh, okay, wait. Let's do it one more time. Listen carefully one more time. Then we go into the questions. So, what's your usual day like? You always seem so busy. Well, I usually get up around 5 a.m. and work on the computer until 6. Why do you get up so early? Well, I have to leave home at 20 to 7 so I can catch a bus at 7 o'clock. It takes me about 20 minutes to walk to the bus stop from my house. And what time do you get to work? Uh, my bus takes about an hour to get there, but it stops right in front of my office. That's nice. And what time do you get off work? Uh, around 5 o'clock. Then we eat dinner around 6.30, and my wife and I read and play with the kids until 8 or so. So when do you work on your website? You said one time that you created at home. Well, my wife and I often watch TV or talk until 10 o'clock. She then often reads while I work on my site, and I sometimes stay up until the early hours in the morning, but I try to finish everything by 1 or 2. And then you get up at 5 a.m.? Well, yeah, but it's important to live a balanced life. I enjoy what I do, but you have to set aside time for family and yourself. I agree. But I think my wife has the toughest job. She spends her whole day taking care of the family, taking the kids to school, working in the garden, buying groceries, taking the kids to piano lessons. Wow. That's a full-time job, but she enjoys what she does. Well, it sounds like you're a busy but lucky man. I think so, too. All right. So, let's go into the questions again. What time does the man get up? What time does the man get up? It. I am. What? Come again. Uh, I am. What time? Is it five o'clock, six o'clock, or seven o'clock? I can't. I think we are having problems with the mic again. Try fix your mic. Try to fix your mic. Hello. You can hear me. Okay, I can hear you now. So what are you saying? Did you say it's 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, or 7 o'clock? Uh, 7 o'clock. All right, so let me correct you there. He wakes up at 5 and is for work at 7. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, let's move on to the next one. What time does he get to work? Uh, at uh, 8 a.m. Hold on. What does he do with his family around 6? Uh, they eat, they, they eat dinner. Well done. 
Um, what does the man and his wife and the kids go to bed? Uh, they are uh, wash TV. Well done. What is the one thing the man does not say about his wife? Uh, she, uh, she, uh, she helps the kids with their homework. Well done. All right, well done. Um, you got everything correct except the first one. So if you listen carefully, he said that he wakes up at 5. He said it at the beginning. He wakes up at 5 a.m. Then he said it uh, towards the end. When he said he goes to sleep around 1 a.m. And he wakes up at 5. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. All right. Let's find one more. Is Toy doing a lesson today? Hi. Uh, yes. Is Toy... Is, is... All right. Yes. So let's try to do one more. Yes, yeah. okay. So let's let's do one more. Then um Toy can come. All right. Um let's see. You friend. Or rather, nice to meet you. All right, so I'm playing it now. Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight out the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time. Okay. Let's find something else that doesn't have so much noise. Yeah, it, it's noisy. Right, new friends. That one is too noisy. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What do you study? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTAC downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. All right. Did you understand everything? Yes, All right. Understand. All right. So let's move on to the questions. What is the woman's name? Uh, Jenny. Well done. Where is the woman originally? Where is the woman uh, from originally? Uh, United States. Where? Come again. Where is uh, she originally from? United States. Uh, is the guy who's from um, the United States. She said he is from Argentina and so, you, you, can hear, yes. you can hear again. Also, let me play it again. Okay, yes, I'll hear again. again. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. My parents now live in Chile, where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. 
It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech. Yeah. No kidding. My brother works there, too. All right. So let's continue with the questions. How long did the man live in California before uh, he moved? Uh, uh, I think uh, seven years. Right. That's correct. Well done. What is the man studying? Uh, she is the theology. Psy, try to say psy. College. Psy. Uh, I, I don't know psychology. I don't know psychology. It's, sci it's uh, the study of the human mind and uh, the human activities. Wait, let me look it up for you. It's the study of the mind and behavior of human beings. Does that make sense? Is the study of the mind and behavior of human beings. Is that okay? So it's psychology. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, okay. It's when we, so we will be, we'll be looking at the human mind and the behaviors that come from the mind. Oh, uh, okay, sense? okay. Yeah, I understand. What is the woman's job? A uh, woman's uh, job is a uh, uh, sale uh, repair and take you. All right, hold on. Try to say sales representative. Sales representative. Re repair and teach you. We'll keep working on that. Representative. Re repair and teach you. All right, all done, all done. All right, all done. Um, okay, so it's half past now. Do you want to do one more? Or Tim or Toy can come now. Do you want to do one more? Okay. Yeah, see, see you, see you Monday, teacher. All right, that's fine. So you can call Toy now. Hi Toy, how are you? Wait. Hey. Okay. Um all right. So uh we're going to uh do uh more picture vocabulary so we are going to revise some stuff that we've done um okay okay so let's start with the animals we've done all this so Let's see how much you now know. Let's start with the first picture. All right, there we go. So you are going to tell me all the animals, all the animals here. What's number one? Come again. Well done. Number two. Number two. Dinosaur. How do you say dinosaur? Dinosaur. All right, well done. Number three. La, la, 
lion 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 well done number four come again snake try to say snake all right well done number five well done. Six. Well done. Number seven. Well done. Eight. Well done. Last one. Well done. That's correct. Well done. Well done. Okay. Let's do one more on animals. We did this as well. We did this last lesson, so you should know. Okay, let's start. Number one. What's number one? Well done. Number two. Well done. Number three. Giraffe. Try to say giraffe. Giraffe. All right, number four. What's number four? Well done, number five. Chicken. Well done, number six. Cow. Cow, cow. Cow. Well done. Um, number seven. Butterfly. Butterfly. Well done. Number eight. Number eight. Out. Well done. This one. Come again. Penguin, penguin. Queen. All right, the next one. The ram, the kangaroo. Kangaroo, kangaroo. Try to say kangaroo. 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 Kangaroo, one more time. Kangaroo. Well done. The last one. This one. What's this one? Well done. The last one. Well done. So let's go back. To, what's this one? Number three. What's number three? Giraffe. One more time. Giraffe. Yeah. What's this one? Number six. Oh. All right. Well done. This one. one. Penguin. 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 I say penguin. Well done. This one. Adderall. Well done. Well done. Okay. Let's move on to another category. Okay. Um, classroom items. Okay. All right. What's number one? Pencil sharpener. Well done. Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Well done. Number two. Four. Four. Three. And. Four. Hot brush. Paint brush. Paint, Paint brush. brush. 
Number five. Erasure. Erasure. Well done. Number six. Calculator. Well done. Number seven. Calculator. Well done. Number eight. Six. Scissors. Scissors. Church. Well done. Last one. Cap. 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 If I say cap. 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 Well done. Well done. Okay. Let's do one more in this category. We have done this one, so you should know most of them. Okay, what's number one? Remember? Number one, what's number one? Come again. Gosh. All right, so we'll try it. Abacus. 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 All right, hold well on. Number two. Well done. Three. Okay. Four. Yes. Well done. Five. Kaffir. 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 Remember? Kaffir. Terrier. One more time. Kaffir. Well done. Next one. Erasure. Well done. Duck. Well done. This one. Black, black ball. Well done. This one. Calculator. Later. Well done. This one. Bell. Well done. This one. Bar. School bag. School, School bag. bag. School right. Bag. And this one. This one. Well done. This one. Well done. This one. No, not fork. Well done. This one. Microscope. Right, well done. But it's microscope. 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 This one? Oh, well done, well done. Okay, let's pick another category. Clothing and accessories, okay? Look at the first one. Right, number one. What do you think is number one? Belt, belt. How to say belt? Belt. Well done. Number two. Blouse. Well done. It's blouse. Try to say blouse. 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 Well done. Three. Out. Well done. Four. What's number four? Come again. Number four. Hat. Hat. There's hat, then there is. Hat. Well done. This one is a? Press. 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 Well done. These are? 
Well done. This one is a. Well done. Go rush. Mittens. Good. Right. Well done. Well done. Mittens is correct. Try to say gloves. 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 Well done. Then this is a. All done. And this is a seat. Called a tie. Try to say tie. Tie. All done. And this tie jamas. Pajamas. 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 One more time. Pajamas. All right. Then this one, sneakers. Timbers. One more time, sneakers. Sneakers. Timbers. Then this one, show. Oh. Well done. Then this is a. Well done. These are. Tip box. Tip. Well done. The last one is a. Umbrella. Umbrella. Um, well done. Umbrella. Well done. Umbrella. Well yeah. done. Well done. All right. Let's do one more when it comes to clothes. This is, should be easy. All right. First one. What do you think of the first one? Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Say sun. Well done. This one is a watch. Well done. This one is a match. Well done. Well done. This one is a umbrella. 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 All that. This one is a wrench. Come again. A wrench. Here. Here. All done. This one is a ring. Yes. So it's e ear then rings. Ear rings. This ear one. rings. Ear. All done. This one is. This one is just a. This is a ring. Ring. All done. Then the last one. John. Come again. One more time. Button. Button. All right, hold well then. Move on to the next category. Countries. Okay. We've got flags and countries. We did this before. So let's try it one more time. What what do you think is this one? Come again. Freezing. It's Greece. Greece. Number two. Money. Well done. Well done. Number three. French. Well done. Number four. Egypt, Egypt. Egypt. Well done. Number five is Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Well done. Number six. Come again. Well done. Well done. Number seven. China. 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 Eight. 
Brazil. Brazil. All done. All done. The next one. Bulgaria. Bow. Bow. Bulgaria. Bow. Bulgaria. Well done. Next one. Well done. Well done. Well done. Next one. Josh. Yeah. Aust Austria. 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 Well done. This one. Argentina. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. Okay, let's move to countries again. Second set of countries. Okay. What do you think is country okay. number one? Turkey. Well done, well done. Number two? Ready. Well done. Number three? Switzerland. 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 Number four. Ben. Well done. Number five. Romania. Well done. Number six. Portugal. Well done. Number seven. No one. Well done. Number eight. New Zealand. Well done. And the last one. Italy. 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 Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Let's move on to the next category of things. Food. Let's move on to food. All right. Let's start with the first one. Meat. Well done. Number two. Salami. Well done. Three. Tomato. Well done. Four. Which basket? Well done. Number five. Potatoes. Well done. Six. French French. French fries. French, French fries. fries. Well done. Number seven. Chocolate. Well done. Eight. Candy. Well done. Last one. Banana. Well done. Let's move on. Do one more. We all did this, so it should be easy. Number one. Language. Well done. Number two. Good. Come again. Chicken. Well done. Three. Cucumber. Well done. Four. Milk. Well done. Five. Spaghetti. Well done. Six. Peach. Kebab. Kebab. Well done. Well done. Well done. Watermelon. Well done. Orange juice. Next one. Well done. Last one. B. Well done. Well done. Try to say P. 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 All right. Well done. Let's move on to another category. Games and sports. We did this one, so it should be easy. Number one, you remember? Go Number one. Go well done, well done, well done. Number two. Rachinka. Well done, well done. Number three. Fish. Well done. Number four. Dutch. Well done, well done. Number five. Dutch ball. Well done, all well done. Number six. 
Well done, well done, well done. Back, come no on. Me, no, me knows. Well done, well done, well done. What's this one? Sir. Well done, this one? V video game. Well done, well done. This one? Ping pong machine. Well done, this one? Dutch. Well done. The last one? Boomerang. Well done. Well done. You remember everything. Okay. Mm, let's look for more sports. We are more sports. All right. Sports. Another one on sports. All right, we also did this one. What's number one? Cycling. All right, try to say cycling. Cycling. Well done. Number two. Cyclist. Well done. Diving. Three. Number four. Well done. Number five. Golf. Well done. Number six. Golfer. Well done. Number seven. I stuck. I, I stuck in. Well done. Number eight. I stuck. I stuck. Well done. Ice skater. I skater. Well done. This one is? Well done, well done. This one is? Skiing. Skiing. Well done. This one is? Football. Well done. This one is? Football. Well done. This one is? Well done. Well done. All right, let's look at one more category. Shapes. Let's look at shapes. What's number one? So called. Well done. Number two? Brush. Well done. Three? Brown. Well done. Four? Yeah, well done. Five? Well done. Six. Flower. Well done. Seven. Eight. Heart. Try to say heart. 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 Well done. Eight. Well done. The last one. Yes, seven. Well done. Well done. That's correct. All right. Let's do one more on shapes. Number one, what's number one? Teddy Holt. Go to Daddy's well side. Done. Uh, number two. Hi. Well done. Number see. three. Over. Well done. Number four. Pyramid. Well done. It's pyramid. 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 Well done. Number five. Number six. Rectangle. Well done. Number seven. Spy, spy. Spiral, spiral. Spiral, spiral. spiral. Well done. Eight. Eight. Lots. Lots. Well done. Last one. All done. All right, let's do one more, then we can end the lesson. One more. Okay, let's learn about seasons. Seasons. All right. 
So, what do you think, Snowman. Mr. Fred? Snowman. One more time. Snowman. All well done. Number two. Thermometer. 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 Well done. Number three. Well. Well done. Number four. Sun. Well done. Number five. Summer. Well done. Number six. Winter. Well done. Number seven. What's this one? Well done. The last one? Spring. Well done. Well done. Okay. Okay, we can end the lesson here for today. So I'll see you on Monday. Well done for today. I will see you on, on Monday. Is that okay? So I will see you on Monday, okay? Okay. All right. You can Bye cut the call now. Goodbye.